turns out that there's, there are more issues than just the coronavirus, but we're going to be talking about that as well. But before we get to the introduction of our panel members, I want to bring to your attention a historical moment. Tomorrow uh, is the anniversary, 75th anniversary celebration of Victory in Europe Day, VE Day, celebrated um, tomorrow and recognizing uh, the May 8, 1945 end of the war in Europe. We still have with us veterans who fought in that conflict, and we have children and grandchildren of those veterans who, who remember the stories and have heard of the bravery and efforts of all of those who fought in that conflict. And all of those who built the industrial machine that provided the weapons and support for that victory in Europe. We're grateful for everything they've done, and tomorrow when you're enjoying a nice day in Minnesota and uh, we're working on our serious problems and challenges, we may want to think about some of those serious problems and challenges that were faced in that war uh, now over 75 years ago. Victor Davis Hanson wrote a book a couple of years ago which he called The Second World Wars. Um, it's interesting, it wasn't, it wasn't a typographical error because as he points out, there were conflicts not only in Europe, but in Southeast Asia, in the Pacific Ocean, and around the world. In the, in the course of those conflicts, somewhere between 70 and 85 people, 75 and 85 million people died. 405,000 Americans or thereabouts uh, were lost in that conflict. Uh, we enjoy today the fruits of the liberty that was won in that battle, not only in this country, but across Europe and around the world. We owe a great debt of thanks to all of those who fought and supported that effort. Having completed our historical moment of the day, we're ready to move to the history that's being made today, uh, which of course involves some of the challenges that we're all facing.